Greetings, my dear friends. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. We are in Sasau. That is the monastery. We have, uh... I think we've just picked up the crown for Lady Stephanie's cousin's wedding. No, we didn't. We're working on that. That means, yes, the uh, gentleman making it must be putting it together. That's fine. That's fine. That is fine. Okay, so. Don't need to worry about either of those. Or that yet. Wait until the master and grabber has set the Moldavite in the crown. Okay, early evening. Ah, uh, the bloody monastery stuff. Honestly, not sure I want to do the monastery stuff right now. However... That's not to say there isn't plenty of other things that we can do while in town. Okay, so what's going on here then? The butcher. Hello, butcher. Jesus Christ be praised. Indeed. Are you in need of a helping hand, Master Butcher? Up and hand? No. But I've got a problem with supplies. Yeah, those roads are hardly safe. I understand. The roads aren't safe these days. No, that's not what I meant. Beef and pork I can get plenty of. But the burgers here have a taste for aristocratic food. And maybe you can help me with that. They're right to poke me. Heaven forbid I would ever suggest such a thing. No. You would have to get it by, uh, other means. I don't want to spoil your plans, but game doesn't grow on trees. No, but if you happen to be walking in the woods and, uh, Came across something, if you see what I mean. If I come across a uh, random corpse that some enterprising young Henry might have stuck a few arrows in, sure. All right. Let's say I'll take a walk in the woods and I'll come across something and bring it to you. Excellent. I'm glad to see you speak my language. Get me a wild boar for now, so I can see what you can do. And don't worry, you'll be well rewarded. Good luck to you. A wild boar. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Swordsmith Fink. Hello. God Let's be with you. interrupt your work. Any chance of some work? Well, come to think, there is one rather delicate matter to attend to. A while ago, a holy man came by here. 
He said he'd come from the Holy Land and he was selling various relics he'd collected on his travels to pay his way. I see. Well, I heard he had some fragments of a sacred sword that once belonged to the fabled Czech Queen of Sheba. But by the time he reached me, he had no pieces left of the sword. All he had was some dubious wares, splinters from our Lord's cross, thorns from the crown, nothing of interest to me. And where did the pieces of the sword go? He sold them off to swordsmiths and blacksmiths hereabouts. They just keep them lying around at home for good luck. If I had them, I'd forge them back into a sword. Can you even imagine what power it would command? If you could get me all the pieces of the sword, I'd repay you very handsomely. Are you sure the Queen of Sheba is a Czech queen? That's a fair question. Have you not heard of her? Our some priest. She's in the Bible. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's a lot about this that uh, seems a little off. Isn't it a bit strange that some pilgrim would have something so valuable? Are you suggesting you might have been lying? <laughs> well, people aren't to be trusted, but this is nothing to joke about. God would smite him in a flash if he made light of holy relics that way. Yep, he sure would. What kind of power did this sword have? What do you think? It brought his bearer good luck in combat and protection from enemies. Where can I find the powers? Like I said, the smith hereabouts bought them from us. They say the largest pieces with the Ratai swordsmith. The bastard probably won't want to sell. But if you manage to swipe it somehow... I could do with a sword like that. What if you sold it to me? Well, everything has its price. But this one would be expensive. Getting hold of the bits is one thing. Forging them back together is quite another. That tinkerer from Ratai couldn't manage it. Ah, uh, bugger it. A quest is a quest. They just sound very interesting. I'll ask them and see what I can do. Excellent. You'll see you won't regret it. I'll pay you well. Okay. I have nothing that he wants to buy. Okay, that's that's fair. It's time for a quick bath. Mother of God. You look like you've been assaulted. Yes. Do you have anything for sale that might be fun? Marathon 2. Why not? Let's talk about the price. But, uh, yeah, 170 groschen right, is a so. bit much. Give you 135. Satisfied? You are a right pinch purse. That's what they call me. How about 145? Finally, a reasonable sum. Okay. I'd like to uh, order something here. And what is it you'd like? Ah, uh, I'll certainly need a physician to treat my wounds. Then a hot bath and uh, launder in my clothes. But of course. Money first, though. Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. May the Lord watch. 
Okay. Of course, a full service gives you a bonus to charisma. And only costs an extra 10 groschen, so... Now... I actually think I want to visit Fritz and Matthew. I think I'm going entirely the wrong way. Yes. Entirely the wrong way. Pebbles. Let's see. Interrupt someone's cows. Nothing worse than having your cows interrupted. Excuse me while I, uh, Can't pass up honey. Honey's good stuff. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Henry just barging through on pebbles. Ignoring you. Yes. Yes, it's it's me. What's he doing? How are, I'm saying hello to you, Matthew. How are you? Mate. Buddy. I'm glad to see you. <laughs> we know each other. Nah, just you're alive. Matthew. Fritz, you're alive. Of course we're alive. You can't get rid of us that easily. I'm almost surprised how happy I am to see the pair of you are all right. We are now, but we barely made it. Yeah, yeah, it was hard. Fritz ran like a little girl. <laughs> really? Bullets! Bloody joker. <laughs> Tell us what happened to you. They gave me a pretty good thrashing as well. It was only in Rat Eye that I got back in my right mind. And I see you're not doing too badly for yourself. What are you up to? Right now, I'm a star for Sir Adric. I see you've worked your way up. Ah. And how are you two getting by? It's shit. You said it. We're still chopped off the bits. Oh, the monastery a bundle. And there's no work here. Not for anyone with more than half a brain, anyway. No Let, one's interested let's be in nice. In no one. And we looked everywhere. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know of anything. It will really help us out right now. Go to hell, I'll do nothing for you. I'll no. find you something. You can rely on me. You gotta help out your mates. We'll pay off the debt, don't you worry. We went to war together, after all, against the Deutsch. Flung shit at his house. So who else survived? What other neighbours of ours made it? Your hunkers in the monastery. 
That girl really helped us out. That's about all we know. We can be around for it me up to Reza, but who knows where she is now? We got separated. Yeah, well, it is fair to say I saved Teresa, but she really saved my ass. I owe my life to Teresa. She hauled me unconscious to the mill in Ratai and nursed me back to health. I'm glad she survived. Since Entering the survived, scene with a hey, goat fuckers. <sighs> okay, um, yeah, I'll talk to her. What can you do? And where would they hire you to? Well, we were carpenters in the mines. So wherever they work with wood, I suppose. Forget about construction. After Scarlet, no one will be building for a long time. Just here in Sasau, and they don't want us here. The best chance we have is to work at a mill. People always have to eat. Ideally, we're looking for a job that pays a lot and doesn't require much work. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. These nettles are bothering me. Now, level in speech. Fifty percent higher reputation when talking to women, and a plus one speech bonus, so you can persuade them more easily. And free services at the baths. If only I'd spoken to these fellas before. I'd have saved 30 groschen. Oh well. I'd like you to teach me how to be better at stealth. Teach me Certainly. to sneak, friend Matthew. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. Wouldn't you rather learn the basics first? Okay, fine. Goodbye. How sneaky am I? Or how sneaky am I not, I should say. Oh, uh, nearly. Nearly at level 5 stealth. Which is when I'll be able to get stealth kill. That will be useful. <coughs> Glad to fucking see you, Henry. So I want to get better at fist fighting. Certainly. Teach me how to clobber bastards. I'd like to practice the basics. Oh why? But it'll cost you. Now, pay close attention. Not going to haggle with my oldest mate who Greetings. gave me lock picks earlier in the game. I want to get better at fist fighting. Certainly. I'm interested in more of <coughs> techniques. Wouldn't you rather learn the basics first? Okay, well, fine. I'll think it over. The monastery wants you to pay for treatment. That doesn't sound right. Leave it be, Howell. No. I won't. What happened? We might have pummeled his face. Uh, but don't get involved in me. We'll settle it on our own. Wait, who exactly did you pummel? Well, he kept on bothering us, and, uh, in a nutshell, it was his fault, and we're not going to talk about it anymore. But couldn't there be a way to settle it? Maybe he'd let you off the... There isn't. But don't be a twat, Fritz. The two of you are up to your necks in shit, and you're going to play tough instead of seeing sense. Go to hell, Henry. You and Elias. You're one as bad as the other. You're good for nothing, you wretch. I'm not the one who's jobless and almost dying of hunger. Now you've done it. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Now, now. <laughs> okay. Greetings, Henry. Good luck to you. Oh, I love that. Just beat the shit out of each other a little bit, then he buggers off. And everything's back the way it should be. I did pay for this place, but I don't need to uh, go there to save when I can just, well, see my, have my wounds tended to yeah. at the baths. Which are actually stupidly close. And I really, really, really went the long way. And the wrong way. See, look, baths. Right here. My humble greetings. I'd like to make use of. And what is it you'd like? Same as last well, time. I'll certainly need a phys I'm sure you'll be God bless. And now free. Master engravers over this side as well, so. That is useful. Yeah. Let's go and visit Brother Elias. Find out why he and Fritz. well, don't like each other much. Shall we say? stuff not right now just not 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 yet this is, that's not a today thing so I know about the fight I heard you had a fight with Fritz and Matthew heathens so it was you they fought with yes it was me and I hope I'll never have to see those wastrels again they deserve to be ousted, but the debt, how are they ever going to pay it? I really don't care. Let them live in penury. Brutes. Yes, such spite is unchristian. Isn't that a little unchristian? 
You wouldn't want personal spite to ruin their lives, would you? I'm not going to stand here and be lectured on what it is and isn't Christian. Who do you think you are? Here again about Fritz and Matthew. I don't want to talk about them. Well, you wouldn't want to limp even more. Look, I can see you limping, and that's after a brawl with two wounded men. What state do you think you'd be in after a real fight with me? I wouldn't. Of course I would. They're my mates. I'll no. beat the shit out of a monk for my oh, mates. Okay. I'll, I'll fix things somehow. Thank you. Now, I'm going to bugger off. Alrighty. Okay, Pebbles, you you stay there. Um, hang on. No. Getting through there in a hurry. Uh, that must have been the master engraver I was seeing on the compass then. Not Fritz. Hey, are you done yet? God be with you. What about the crown? Is it finished? I seem to recall telling you exactly. Fine. Ow. Now, I see a Matthew, but where is a Fritz? Which is not you. Fritz! Where are you, sir? Matthew will lead me to him. But I'll just check in here anyway, just in case. Now I've gone and lost Matthew. No, I haven't. There he is. Ah, eh, yep. Ah, of course Fritz is sleeping off the pummeling I gave him earlier. Serious? I 
Okay, now I have gone and lost Matthew. Oh, no, I haven't. It was polite of him, just showing me where Fritz was. But, um... Uh, of course, it's only 2.30 in the afternoon. You're dressed in very fancy green clothing. I'm honoured that you should come to me. You're the local Sharkle Fark, aren't you? I mean, Farkle Shark. Fancy again? Your fame proceeds, but you won't get the better of me. <clears throat> That was a shit first roll. Take that four hundred and fifty. That's all. Shit. That's You can have a bad roll any time, buddy. My pleasure. Am I invisible? Over here, a beer. Am I invisible? Over here, <sighs> a beer. Should I? Shouldn't I? No, I daren't. Almost certainly lost. Yes, well and truly. <laughs> you absolute bastard. I hear you like a game. Another round. I can't wait to see how you grow. Just as long as it keeps going like this. Could have had 550, but uh, sometimes you just want to explore what the rest of the dice want to do. If I was in your shoes, I'd pass while the going's good. Use your head, man. You'll lose everything. Fella seems to be enjoying the show. Finished. There. Not afraid of anything, eh? Not afraid of anything, eh? Shit.
Should I? Shouldn't I? No, I daren't. <sighs> terrible, terrible rolls. Not afraid of anything, eh? Ah, uh, come on, it's time I had a throw. Ah, uh, come on, it's time I had a throw. Evidently not yet. Use your head, man. You lose everything. Ah, uh, come on, it's time I had a throw. Not afraid of anything, eh? Not afraid of anything, eh? Shit. God damn it. One, two, three, four, six, six. Use your head, man. You'll lose everything. Ah, uh, come on. It's time I had a throw. That'll do. This will be the one. Those. If I was in your shoes, I'd pass while the going's good. If I was in your shoes, I'd pass while the going's good. I am passing while the going's good. Hello. That's six hundred, twelve hundred, twenty four hundred, and fifty. I will just. Holy Mother of God, why do you punish me? Ha 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 ha. But at least you won the last game. We're even. It means I don't feel the need to come back and choke you out and steal everything you own later. Okay. Time to get the crown and uh, yeah. then I might actually leave Sasau. Sounds shocking, I know, but I can always come back to Satsau. I just find myself not wanting to get embroiled in the whole monastery crap right now. Sorry, not trying to call the horse, just trying to jump up the stairs.
because I can't walk up them. What about the crown? Is it finished? I'm a man of my word. A <coughs> Here you have it. Thank the Lord you found that Moldavite. It wouldn't be the same without it. Take care now. Okay. Ow. Alrighty. Discovered nest? What? Where? In the tree, I assume. Ah. Nest that is actually sitting there that you can reach up into with your hands and not have to shoot down. That's quite unique. I feel like taking a gamble. Will we wake up somewhere different if we go to sleep? Clearly not. Okay. It's the right dude. Perfect. <coughs> okay. I can hardly see a thing. But that's fine. I think this might actually be the right way. Sort of. Vaguely. 
though it's impossible to tell, it's too damn dark. Okay, navigating purely by map, and a couple of shrines that I've found. Travelling far too early in the morning. Can we get back to Ratai? place right in the middle here. Is another mill. So across there is some windy stuff and then a big ass plain and then Ladechko. I'm going to save the game. Because, quite honestly, across this bit of water is quite a dodgy and, uh, a, a quite a dodgy bit of road that is often used by bandits and cumans as an ambush spot. So, best to, uh, take care going through there. Or save beforehand, as I did. Want to earn a bit of coin? There's plenty of coin in it. Want yeah. oh, shit? Bring it on. No, I don't want my bow. I want my sword. Shit. Want to earn a bit of coin? There's plenty of coin in it. Shit. Now, now. Murka. Sorry, you die. Okay, you die then.
Well, <clears throat> I think uh, saving the game when I did kind of was the right decision, quite honestly. Um, so I don't think it was quite the ambush spot I was uh, talking about. No, it wasn't. But it's bloody close enough. Ladachko. Sorry. I don't mean to run over the guard everywhere I go, except when I do. Um. Okay. This way to Ratai, yeah. I believe. Yes, across the river. this one. Not that far, this one is. Otherwise we're going to someone's front door and that would, um, well I don't know about you, but it would just confuse the hell out of me if some random dude rocked up at my doorstep on a horse saying, hello, is this the way to Rat Eye? I'd be like, no mate, you're in entirely the wrong part of the world. Well, I could have gone past his house, I suppose. Now I'm at a nest. And there is a dog. Ooh, that's a high nest. Let's see. Can we get it in the dark? That was quite close. The answer to my question is yes, we can. Cool. Come along, Pebbles. Yeah. 
You're not a Stay away from people if you can't ride a horse, you moron! You're not averse to a bit of profit, are you? It depends how much coin there is in the coin that you've got for me. What is it? It's just that you look like someone who doesn't mind a bit of adventure. And I'm looking for someone like that. At least it's this like isn't this. an ambush. I know of the whereabouts of some treasure. Well, treasure is a lofty word. Simply hidden valuables. I thought and that this was I the literal definition of treasure. Uh, how do you know about it? a little fishy to me. How do you know about it? Ah, well, it's a bit of a long story. My sister married a fellow from Kalin, and he was a knacker, so there was hell to pay. Anyway, this fellow's sister... No, wait, uh, that's not it. He was from Kuttenberg, not Kalin. And he wasn't a knacker, but a bathhouse attendant. All right, all right. I don't need to hear your family's entire history. Get your fucking story straight, mate. But why don't you get it for yourself? I don't get it. Why don't you just get the treasure for yourself? That's easy to say. Only it's sure to be buried in some remote <clears> place. <throat> and the whole countryside is crawling with bandits and all sorts of vermin. I'd rather sell it to you for a few groschen than risk my neck. Oh, all right then. Wild story. But, worth a try. Excellent. Here, take this. And I wish you good fortune in your search. Okay. Uh, actually, well, what the fuck are you doing? Keep your sticky fingers to yourself. I tried. I did try, buddy. But I just wanted my money back. That's all. Now I'll try not to trample your body on the way through. Really, I just hope we're not close enough to Rat-Eye that uh, he can rat me out. Because we might be. Sometimes you just need to murder a pig.
pot. Cook up all the pig in the world. Eat one of those. I do have a book I can read. Can't go on any more. Push yourself harder. What could happen? In the worst case scenario, you'll die at the finish line. Okay. Mentality improved. Okay, Peshek. Hey, lad. How are you? Um, yes. Got any work for carpenters? Is there any work here for carpenters? In this day and age, I'm glad I can support myself. Fair enough. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right, let's see what we can do about that. You know, maybe I should buy that as well. No, not exiting the shop. Yeah, that'll do. That's fine. Okay. Back for another bit of a read. Friction is a phenomenon that arises when one body in motion is in close contact with another body. The work necessary to overcome friction mainly creates heat. I can only read most of it before Henry gets bored. Damn. But a new reading perk point available, that's always good. Cushion. Double reading bonus from sitting comfortably. The level of study of the book you've read most of will advance automatically while sleeping or skipping time. Okay. I think I'm going to go within the flow, though. Not the least of which, because in my own day-to-day -day existence, if I'm reading, I just ignore everything. I can just... Well, the world could end around me and I wouldn't notice, basically. It's fun. <coughs> 
So, Teresa. Look at you, lover boy. Okay. Uh, shall we take a walk? What now? <coughs> shall we take a walk? You don't give up, do you? Well, let me think. I've got lots to do right now. Oh, damn it. I'd love to go another time. Will you come and okay, see me? Okay, okay. Fine. Her ladyship commands. <laughs> you jester. Anyway, um, Matthew and Fritz set in their regards. Matthew and Fritz and their regards. They survived. My God, I'm glad. They helped me out a lot. And where did you see them? In Sassau. I bumped into them in front of the tavern. Where else? <laughs> How are they doing? Yeah, I'd say healthy, but they have problems. They're doing fine. The monk brought them back to health. But they don't have work, and they're in debt. You wouldn't happen to know of any jobs going for two lazy carpenters. Not here. And I think it will be the same in all of Ratai. It's overcrowded with refugees, and they're all looking for work. Mm, that's bad. Those two need work badly to keep them out of mischief. You know what they're like. I do indeed. Try the mills in the hey, smaller lad. hamlets. The miller in the Dutch is old. Maybe he could use some strong hands. I will. Thanks. Okay. Let us check the local uh, Belladonna patch. So I feel like I might have to make some more Saviour Schnapps pretty soon. There doesn't seem to be much here. Or indeed any. Bugger. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Just having a bit of a nosy sneak around. Or a sneaky nose around. Take your pick. I'm doing both of them. Poppies. And some dandelions. Some marigold. Why am I picking flowers? I have no idea. It just seems like a good idea. Let's just see. Quests. Okay, Fritz and Matthew. Not yet. Courtship. Obviously not right now. Brawl. Oh yeah, 
Fritz needed to wake up for that. Uh, wine merchant. Okay. All right. I am going to uh, end things now while looking in the direction of Rat-Eye, so I know that clearly where I am and what I'm doing next. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves, and farewell for now.